Taking a look at the rotator cuff muscles. These are a group of muscles and tendons that keep the head of your upper arm bone firmly in place. The rotator cuff muscles is a common name for four specific muscles. They all originate from the scapula and then attach to the humeral head. These muscles act to pull the humeral head into the glenoid fossa. Their tendons also play a role of providing strength st and stability during the motion of the shoulder. It can be remembered by easy mnemonic of sits. So they include your supraspinatus muscle, your infraspinatus muscle, your teres minor muscle and your subscapularis muscle. Please note it's teres minor muscle that is included in your rotator cuff muscles and not teres major muscle. We're going to be taking a look at each muscle in detail. So the supraspinatus muscle's origin is that of the supraspinous fossa. Its insertion includes that of the superior facet of the greater tubercle of the humerus. The action of the supraspinatus muscle includes that of abduction of the humerus 15 degrees at the glenohumeral joint. And the innervation of the supraspinatus muscle is the suprascapular nerve. Next, taking a look at the infraspinatus muscle. Its origin is the infraspinous fossa. The insertion of the infraspinatus muscle includes that of the middle facet of the greater tubercle of the humerus. The action is that of lateral rotation of the humerus at the glenohumeral joint. And lastly, the innervation of the infraspinatus muscle is the suprascapular nerve. Next, taking a look at the teres minor muscle. The origin of the teres minor muscle is the upper two-thirds of the posterior surface of the lateral border of the scapula. Its insertion is the inferior facet of the greater tubercle of the humerus. The action of the teres minor muscle includes that of the lateral rotation at the glenohumeral joint, and the innervation of the teres minor muscle is that of the axillary nerve. Lastly, we'll be looking at the subscapularis muscle. So if we remember the mnemonic sits, this is the last letter or S for subscapularis muscle. The origin of the subscapularis muscle is the medial two-thirds of the subscapular fossa. Its insertion is that of the lesser tubercle of the humerus. The action of the subscapularis muscle includes that of the medial rotation of the humerus at the glenohumeral joint. And the innervation of the subscapularis muscle is the superior and inferior subscapular nerves.